This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So that was simple enough. But what happens if somebody has non-savings income? So we're going to have a look at Polly, example number four. Polly has trading profits of 13,500. And a, which is assessable in 23, 24, and bank interest of 18,000. And we are going to calculate her income tax liability for 23, 24. Now, what I'm going to do now is show you the model answer so that you can see how that works, because they are all at the back of, of, uh, of the manual. So I'm going to show you how that works now with that. And you can see here the page number. So the page number 216, that's where you'll find the model answer for Polly. And obviously it's important that when you um, you practice these questions yourself, don't just look at the answers, because I hate to tell you this, but the answers are not in the back of the exam paper. You've got to learn how to do it yourself. So example number four. You again, do you notice we have a heading? And now we have the um, the pro forma, which is all nicely and neatly laid out with our various headings. We have copied the question into the answer. So the trading profits were 13,000. There you go. And the bank interest was 18,000, giving us a total of 31. Basic rate taxpayer. Make sure you put the lines in. Lines, if you don't put the lines in, it makes a question very, very difficult to mark. There have been known where markers have refused to mark things if they haven't got lines in. So please, please put your lines in. We then deduct the personal allowance. Now, you notice the personal allowance, obviously, as before, comes off the NOS savings income first, leaving just £930 of non-savings income, which means that there is some income that this can go in there before we get to 5,000. That's why I wanted to give you this example as well, because it, it, it's a good example. So the non-savings income is taxed at basic rate. The savings income, that total there is 5,000. So 930 and 4,070. £5,000. That's the first £5,000. Therefore, £4,070 of it will be taxed at the starting rate. As Polly is a basic rate taxpayer, we've got a savings income, a nil rate band of 1000 Therefore, the balance of the 18000 and this, when you add it up, comes to 18000 930, always important to put that in. The balance of the 18,000, 12,930 is then taxed at 20%, giving us 2,586. We add all that up, it comes to 2,772. You will notice at the bottom of each of the model answers, so obviously if I'm discussing this with you and writing it out, I will give you this information. But if you are checking the model answers at the back uh, at a later date, or perhaps you're, you, you know, you've watched it, you want to check it yourself without watching, you will find notes at the bottom. So non-savings income of 930 as a result has a nil percent starting rate band available for her savings income. And it gives you the figures and she's a basic rate taxpayer. So the, a the savings income nil rate band is £1,000. OK, so let's go back to where we were. And we're going to look at dividends. So the first £1,000 of dividend income, that's income from shares that you have received having invested in a limited company. There is a income... Uh, I'm going to try that again, sorry. Dividends, the first £1,000 of dividend income benefits from a nil percent rate. Now, dividends, if you remember, are 
um, received when you um, buy shares in a limited company. So this £1,000 nil rate band, it is available to all taxpayers. So that's basic rate, high rate and additional rate, which isn't the case for the savings. Um, the dividend nil rate band does count towards the basic and the high rate bands. So now the rate at which dividend income is taxed is different. Again, these numbers are unusual numbers. I doubt you will remember them. Tax tables. Please check your tax tables to make sure that you are using the correct rate. If after that thousand pounds of um, nil rate band, you are a basic rate taxpayer then you will pay tax on your dividend income top sliced at 8.75%. If you are a high rate taxpayer at 33.75%. And if you are an additional rate taxpayer, then that is 39.35%. Is Don't ask me why we've got such unusual figures. That's just kind of how it is. So let's look at example number five. So we have Polly. No, no, we don't. Sorry. We have Daisy. <laughs> Polly, Daisy, Molly, Billy. All of these names. Who thought them up? Daisy received a salary of 19,500 with pays you earn deducted of 1,400 pounds. Now remember that is the gross figure. And that's what's been deducted from it. She also received £10,000 bank interest and £1,000 dividend income. So we are to calculate her income tax payable. That's different. Notice the change? Payable as opposed to liable. And that's because of this. Pay as you earn. Tax has been deducted at source. She's already paid £1,400 of tax to the revenue. So that's different. That will come off the liability, giving us the payable. OK, so let's have a look at how Polly. I keep calling her Polly. Her name's Daisy. Daisy. Income tax. Computation. 23, 24. Now we're going to need the four columns, aren't we? Move over this way a bit. And on savings. Savings. Dividends. And a total column at the end. We're now going to copy the question um, into the answer. So we had employment income of 19,000. 500 a savings income of 10,000 and dividend income of a thousand. Okay, let's take that across to there. Put them all in the total column. And this is our total income from the labels. Which is a basic rate taxpayer. Less the personal allowance of twelve thousand. 570. Again, lines make sure it's nice and easy to follow. Means that she has taxable income of 
year's total income of 17,930. You may find it easier, I don't know whether or not you will, if you can, if you want to, to put a line down there, because that divides it off, so that that's the, uh, the situation, so you can see a bit more clearly, perhaps that would work for you. You'll find your own way of doing it, but basic, make, um, make sure that it um, looks like the model answers that you're finding in your manual and that I'm doing for you. So, again, follow the same process, on savings income. So that's this figure, 6,930 is taxed at basic rate, 20%. 1,386 pounds. Savings income. Basic rate taxpayer, 1,000 pounds at the starting rate. Then we have the nil rate band. No, nope, we don't. Chris, you're going to have to go back there in 11 and 16. You have to go back there. So ending at zero. Okay. And starting again. So we have then 9,000, which is the balance of the um, savings at basic rate 20%, which is 18. That's all the savings income again. We do that one first, that one second, that one third. Then the dividend income, top sliced, we have a thousand. And that is the nil rate band, zero percent. So no tax on there. Subtotal here, just to make sure that it comes to seventeen thousand nine hundred and thirty pounds. Add up your total tax liability, so that's 3186. So that's the tax liability. That's how much tax she is liable for. However, less paid at source income tax. £1,400 has been paid at source. So therefore, the tax payable... Is reduced down to seventeen thousand eight hundred and sorry seventeen hundred and eighty six. That's important. You'll get an extra mark for putting the pairs you earn in. Um, always go back to your question every time just to check um, that that is um, how how it uh, how it works. So let's go back to the question and have a look at example number six, where we have to recalculate Daisy's income tax, assuming she receives a salary of 37,500, quite a lot more with tax deducted at source of 5,000, and bank deposit interest of 13,000, and a dividend income of 1,000. And again, I'm going to show you the model answer for this so that you can see how that works. So here we have the model answer to example number six with Daisy with the altered figures. So we have much larger employment income, you'll see there, 37,500, bank interest and dividend interest. And again, you might find that it's useful. Perhaps you find that easier because it sort of disconnects that back at the end line um, so these are the calculations that are bringing you to that total at the end. And we've taken the personal allowance off the non-savings income first, um, as we've explained in the past. OK, so the, we're getting used to this pro forma now. We've had six examples where you can see how it works. You set up the pro forma with the headings and the title, copy the question and take off the personal allowance. OK, so each time that we've done that, uh, we've used the same process. The income tax calculation is the one where you're going to get all the marks. So let's have a look at the calculations. So we have 
£24,930 of non-savings income, which is taxed at 20%, which gives us £4,986. Now, the savings income totaling 13000 And again, what we've got here, she's gone from being basic rate to being high rate. So 24,930 plus 500 plus 1, uh, 12,270 comes to 37,700. So if you get a question where somebody's going from one rate to the next, take your time, make sure that you have all the facts in your head and show every step that you take in your calculation that you've moved from the basic rate to the high rate you may need to put that 37,000 um, pounds in like I did before or you may be able to just do it it doesn't matter either way if you feel that the safety net helps then put the safety net in but it is important that you show the difference between these sometimes I write down the sides basic rate basic rate basic rate oops here we go high rate high rate because obviously the dividends is um, top sliced um, show all the calculations no, 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 no fancy 0 0.2 20% 40% so the savings is split into three the first 500 because she's a high rate taxpayer the first 500 pounds is the nil rate band there's no starting rate because obviously um, she's got saving non-savings income £12,270 is at basic rate, and then the final £230 is, is at high rate um, of 40%. The dividend, again, that's the nil rate band, clearly shown. Again, a tax liability of 7532 with pay-as-you-earn deducted at source. Now she has to pay £2,532. And again, at the bottom, you'll see my notes that go with that.